channel. If you're wondering what's with the crazy makeup and look and everything, I was creating an Easter Bunny type look. I don't have my ears on, but anyway. So I figured why not kill two birds with one stone sort of thing. And I'll make it easier on myself and just film my March book wrap up video for you guys. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts about the books that I managed to read this month and my little reviews, then sit down, grab yourselves a cup of coffee or tea or a drink, and let's get into it. Before I get into the book part of the video, I hope that you guys had an amazing Easter. Those who celebrate it, I hope you guys did spend it with your family and loved ones and everything like that, and I hope that you had a great one and ate your fair share of guilt-free chocolate. I hope you guys had an amazing one. The first book that I read is called The Witches of the Dark Power by Gabriella Lepore, if that's how you pronounce the name. This is the sequel book to The Witches of the Dark Castle. I love that book. I love this book. I love this duology. I hope that there's going to be a third one because it was great. The story was amazing and I loved it. It's about witches. It's about a girl who finds out she's a witch and gets to learn all about her ancestry and she finds out that she has a powerful gift. So it's a really great story. As you read it, it just captivates you and it's amazing. I just love the character growth throughout the first book into the second book. It really shows how much the girl has grown and those around her too. I love the, the little build up of chemistry between the main character and her love interest. It's so cute, I, I just can't. It's a really interesting read on a story about witches and if you like that sort of thing then I definitely recommend picking this up and giving it a read. It's not a super long story either so it's perfect for those in a reading slump. I rate this book 4 stars. Go pick it up. Now. Go. The second book that I managed to read is this one, A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. I only recently found out that this is actually the first book in a trilogy. And that being said, I'm super excited and I can't wait to pick up the second book and the third one when it comes out this year in October, I think. Oh my god, amazing series. If you love Harry Potter, witches, magic, and fairies, you will love this book. Right now I'm telling you, you will love it. It's about a girl who is a sorceress, but she may or may not be the prophesized one that everybody's looking for. It's set in London, it's set in history, magicians, magic, sorcerers, London, Harry Potter-esque, amazing. You definitely need to pick this up. I definitely recommend it. I'm so excited and I can't wait to pick up the next two books to give them a read. I've had this in my TBR pile for so long and I finally read it and now I'm hit with all these amazing things and another two stories and I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. It was amazing. Definitely. If you love those things and you love those themes then definitely pick this book up. I rate this one four stars easily way more than that. Go pick it up. And last but not least, this month, the third book that I managed to read is this one, The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine. Oh my gosh, I love this book. It was so interesting from the first page to the last. I just couldn't put it down. It was amazing. I didn't want it to end. Again, I guess this month is inspired by magic and sorcerers and this book has elemental things. It's great, like magic using the earth and air and water and everything, and I just, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I have heard that this author in particular has another two books in this sort of Ravenspire trilogy. They're all separate stories to each other and they're based on fairy tales. This one in specifics was based on Snow White, I think. I got a lot of those kind of vibes and uh, dragons guys and girls who shapeshift into dragons. I mean, can you get any more awesome? The villain in this story, oh my god, like, not gonna lie, through reading there were so many parts that I just wanted to reach in and like beat the crap out of her, but you know, she's a character in a book, I can't, but 
If I'm gonna be honest with you right now, the villain of this book is reminiscent, in my opinion, to Maeve from Throne of Glass series. She's so cruel in that aspect, and oh my god, she just makes you feel things. This author, when she writes happy, sad, anger, it's amazing. There's only a rare few artists and authors that can make you feel certain ways with their work. And this was by far an amazing book. I love mystical beasts and dragons and magic and all that sort of stuff. So when I found out that this book contains those amazing things, I was so excited to read it. So I did and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. You have a fan for life. Honestly, it's amazing. I rate this book four stars, definitely way more than that. Go pick it up, go give it a read. I'm definitely gonna pick up the other two books in this trilogy, definitely. Amazing. Well guys, that wraps up my March book wrap up video. I hope that you guys found some tips and tricks on some books to pick up if you haven't read them. If you have or haven't, leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions, I'd love to hear them. Drop some comments of recommendations for books to check out. I'd love to add more books to my TBR pile. I hope to be doing more makeup tutorials soon and uh, if you're interested in finding out how I got this look and what I use to do this makeup look, then follow me on social media, on Instagram and stuff. All links will be in the down bar. Everything you need to know will be in the down bar. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss any future videos that I post. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap. See you in the next video. Look